This video will cover the topic, Solving a Triangle with the Law of Sines, Problem Types 1 and 2. Let's look at two example problems to get a better understanding of these topics. Consider a triangle ABC like the one below, that A equals 103 degrees, C equals 30 degrees, and B equals 61. Solve the triangle. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. If there is more than one solution, use the button labeled OR. What does it mean to solve the triangle? This tells us that we want to find all of the remaining side lengths and angle measures. Since we are given two angles and the side they share, we know that this is the ASA case, angle side angle. The first thing we will do is find angle B using the knowledge that all angles in a triangle sum up to 180 degrees. This helps us find that B equals 47 degrees. Next, we can find the remaining side lengths using the Law of Sines. What is the Law of Sines? The Law of Sines states that A over sine of A equals B over sine of B equals C over sine of C. Using the given value of B equals 61, we can find A. A equals 81.3 approximately. We will use a similar method to find the side length C. C equals approximately 41.7. This gives us the final answer of B equals 47 degrees, A equals 81.3, and C equals 41.7. Can we try another example problem? Of course! Let's say we are asked to consider a triangle ABC like the one below. Suppose that C equals 36, B equals 69, and C equals 56 degrees. Solve the triangle. Carry your intermediate computations to at least four decimal places and round your answer to the nearest tenth. If no such triangle exists, enter no solution. If there is more than one solution, use the button labeled OR. Just like the previous problem, we want to find all remaining side lengths and angle measures. We are given two sides and an angle not included between them, making this an SSA case, or side-side angle. We know side C and its opposite angle C, and we also know side B, so we can use the law of sines to find sine of angle B. We get that the sine of angle B equals 1.5890 approximately, and since the sine of an angle is always less than or equal to 1, there is no solution for B. Therefore, a triangle cannot be formed with the given information. What do we write as our answer in this case? Our answer is no solution. Okay, I think I understand how to solve these types of problems. First, we identify what remaining sides and angles we need to find to completely solve the triangle. Then we use the law of sides and our knowledge that the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees to find the missing sides and angles. That all sounds correct. Great work!